had a strong sense through most of my childhood that, that I really wasn't anywhere, that everything was someplace else, that uh, there were cities, there were countries, other places, but I wasn't in them and I'd probably never see them. On the, the edge of being poor, my parents had just uh, worked their way out of poverty. My father had been ill during the Depression, was out of work. He was a printer for the newspaper. I could tell by the seventh grade that there was no future in, in studiousness for uh, a male student in, in the 1950s. The ideal adolescent in America was, uh, let's see, athletic, bright, and non-studious. All through junior high school and high school, uh, my whole life was built around athletics. Football, basketball, track in the spring, and baseball in the summer. Sandy is uh, my other role model, and the light of my life, to be sure. Well, we have a family that we have put together in the last 20 years, and um, <clears throat> It includes four children and now nine grandchildren, ranging from uh, one year to 15 years. As parents, we're all focused on our kids' GPA and SAT scores, when in fact we ought to be focused on their, their development of integrity and character and the ability to form good relationships. But I was a believer in the flat earth, that there aren't important interactions and, <clears throat> and everything is quite simple and effects have quite simple effects and don't worry about all their various interactions. Just the force of all of these studies put together and understood and this number with tens of thousands of cases lying behind it would just roll over opposition, that everyone, would, even the opponents, would lay down their arms and say, yes. The, the big uh, ignored area of education policy these days, and has been for some time, is the area of the curriculum. What is it that's being learned? What is being taught? And is it really important? 